Makoto, Nebula, Malo, Kiorana. My name is Firebeck, and it's really great to have you here for our creative segment today. So, at the moment, in some parts of Aotearoa, you are surrounded by different coloured autumn leaves. Places like Christchurch, Dunedin, Cromwell. There are some. Uh, here in Northland, but not as many as down south. Probably depends on what trees you have in your property. But for all of us, the season is changing. And it is autumn. Tukuro. Colours that we sometimes think about when we think about autumn are fiddle, karaka, kofai, red, orange and yellow. So today I thought that we could do something with leaves as part of our daily diary. And this will build on the lessons that we've done before where we've been looking up, looking down, mapping and where I live. It's all about the documentary process and kōwaiō, making connections with those things. So today we're going to look at our natural environment and make decorated leaves Anyone at home can join in, and I hope everyone does. And please keep celebrating with your whānau the achievements and the progress that you've made and the creativity that you've been able to engage in during this time. And please share it with me as well. So if you would like to take a photo, I would love to see your work. Uh, if you could text it to me with the title Daily Diary, text 5811. Or if you'd like to send a photograph through email, please send it to info at hltv.co.nz. I would love to see what you're up to at home. So, um, photos are also a really great way to record your work. I know a lot of us have been putting them in our time capsules and keeping them safe in there, but photography artists also uh, take photographs of their work as well. And I'm going to show you an artist that does just that. And he's very relevant to what we're doing today. So this is um, a lovely book by uh, of Andy Goldsworthy's book works. And he uses um, his environment and the nature in his environment to create these beautiful artworks. So this one here, you can see um, it's been made with sticks. They're called black rooted bracken stick stalks. And he's arranged them to, almost to look like a sun. This next one here, it's quite a long picture, and you've got to look very carefully because there's all these autumn leaves, uh, tukuro leaves that we're, we're experiencing at the moment, but look how he's arranged them down this um, tree trunk. He's got them uh, green through to yellow, and almost like blending colours with leaves into the red, and he keeps that going all the way down the tree trunk. So beautiful, beautiful arrangement of leaves there. This last one I have to show you, um, you'll have to look carefully again too. You can see he's used these gold cutter leaves and created this incredible pattern all over the tree branch. I'm not sure whether um, it took him days or it probably did because it's quite a technical looking arrangement. If you could do a small portion of a tree at your house. Fantastic work. Uh, also a friend of mine who has some beautiful autumn trees at her property. She had a go at making one for me the other day as well, which I'll show you. So she's done this circular arrangement around the bottom of her mandarin tree using beautiful autumn coloured leaves. She has red and yellow available at her house. And there's just another view there. Beautiful work. Thanks to my friend Steph for that. Just put that aside. So last time the key words that we looked at were Kākano, texture, papa, surface, and heta, drawing. And our key words for today are Barangi, to spread out. We're going to spread our leaves out a lot like at the artist that we looked at, Andy Goldsworthy. And Ahuhanga, shape. So let's go through uh, a few things that we can do with our leaves today. So here's my first one. Um, what I did with this one was I um, selected an interesting shaped leaf. 
Actually, before you start today, you might want to go outside and have a look at the leaves that you have at your place and really study them. Some of them uh, have got, this one's got a crinkly edge. This one's got beautiful little speckles on it. And have a look at the shape because um, it might give you some ideas of different ways to use your leaves. This one here, I thought that the outside shape was really interesting and would be really good to... Um, sponge some paint around the edge. Now not all of you will have um, acrylic paint available which is quite good for doing this and previous sessions um, we looked at making paint dye uh, out of just scraps that you have. So this was, I love this colour, It's uh, uh, we had beetroot for dinner the other night and the scraps, skin scraps that were going to go in the compost, I boiled them up and got this lovely coloured dye. So I'll show you um, using the dye and I'll show you also using a little bit of paint and how you can create a pattern using the leaf as a stencil. So with the paint, um, just laying it down carefully and I'm brushing from the centre of the leaf out away so that hopefully the paint doesn't get stuck underneath the leaf. I need a little bit more dye on my brush. Oh, it's a little bit fiddly and my leaf's sticky because of the paint that I had put on earlier. And there you can see it's created the outside shape of the leaf. So that's the first way that you can do it with the dye. The second way um, for this technique is just I've got a, a damp sponge here I chose to use autumn colours for my little stencil display here. A little bit of paint on there, holding your leaf down and just sponging around. So I think what I might do with this one is overlap the leaf shapes. See what I come up with. It's all about exploring and seeing what beautiful patterns that you can make. If you um, think that that's a little bit confusing and you want to spread them out, by all means do. Have a play and enjoy um, discovering what you can do with that process. Put these out of the way so I don't knock them. Um, I'm going to rip this off so that we'll try it. Another thing that you could do is, um, particularly when you're studying the leaves, uh, which leaf did I use for this one? I think I used um, a Fijoa leaf and I liked it because it had just simple patterns on it and I thought that might be quite nice to take the leaf shape, use the veins where it's divided the, the leaf shape up and put patterns in there. So I've got... Uh, I my first row started looking at just the, the natural shape of the leaf and exploring what patterns I could make with that um, and then flipping them round and making another pattern here which might be um, quite fun for some of you to do. Looking at some of the other shaped leaves I have, particularly this one with the wobbly edge, um, encouraged me to kind of take the idea of those wobbly lines and work it in there. You could do all sorts of things. You don't need to stay with the nature pattern, uh, well, patterns that you discover in nature, but because we're looking at our environment around us, it might be a good place for you to start. You can fill it up, uh, you can work in pen, you can work in pencil, just whatever you have. Don't be limited by materials. You might like this idea and think, oh, I could do that another way with the materials that I have, and that will be fantastic. Just because I do it this way, I'm just using the materials that I have, but just because I'm doing it this way, um, you might have different materials and you might be able to do it another way. So, using the pattern, uh, the leaf shape and putting patterns inside your leaf could be a really nice thing that you'd be interested in doing. Ah, now, next one. This out the way. And we have done this before. Uh, I've got a little bit of lunch wrap here, which could be quite good. Um, 
printer paper is also very good. I find that finished paper works quite well, but you can still do a rubbing with thick paper. So, placing those leaves underneath, and I'll just show you quickly. Holding the paper down quite tightly over that leaf, using the side of your pencil, and rubbing over it, and you can see it's picking up all the little veins that you can see in the leaves that you might have had a really good look at earlier and analysed. Um, I'm using a colour pencil for this one. You can use any pencil that you have available to you. Let me try this leaf and see what this one comes up with. You never know what you're going to get until you have a go. Yeah, so this one doesn't have as high ridges um, in the vein areas of the leaf, so it didn't work as well as the other one. So really just explore the leaves that you have around you and see which ones work best. So what else could you do with this project? Uh, you could take all your leaf creations and you could make a Fano tree. So I've just collaged a tree trunk onto my piece of paper with brown paper. You can use any colour you like. Um, you can see some of my rubbing leaf shapes that I've attached to it. Your whole family could make some leaves and decorate your whānau tree. Um, I found on a packet of dark chocolate that I had, it had, um, and you can see here, it had some leaves actually already in there. And then, I, of course, I've got a little bit of a chocolate leaf tree going on there too. So look at what collage materials you have, um, along with the ones that you've drawn or painted, and you could all stick them um, down there together. If you want to do a family activity or if you'd like to do that just yourself, that could be quite good as well. Um, you could display it in your house. Um, also, if you're going to go outside and do some um, I'll just put these out of the way, some patterns with leaves or sticks or things that you find outside, you can document those uh, taking a photograph if you've got a phone that you could use. Um, you could also maybe paint some leaves and turn them into, you could put a little uh, insect face on there, you could turn these into little animals, try drawing on a leaf, that could be quite a fun thing to do as well. You don't really need any fancy equipment, you can make a simple pattern or you can do any of the activities I've shown you here today and um, yeah, hopefully everyone's found something that they can do with their leaves today. Even just admire, admiring the beautiful textures and colours is a really good place to start. You might even just want to do a simple drawing. So, keywords that we've used today. Farangi to spread out, if we were going to go outside and spread out and arrange our leaves. A huahanga, shape, looking at the shapes of the leaves, particularly when we have um, made a stencil using our leaves. Looking at the texture of our leaves, kākano, the surface of our leaves, papa, and drawing our leaves, heta, however you've drawn those today. So when you're happy with what you've done, please do take a photo and send it in to me. I would love to celebrate with you and show them as part of um, our daily sessions. And just a reminder on that, you can text that photo to Daily Diary. Uh, put the title Daily Diary 5811 or if you'd like to send an email with a photo info at hltv.co.nz So that's all for this session. I hope you're really stirred and fired up and you're going to go outside and find some leaves and do something really cool and creative with them. Next time we'll be thinking about other ways we can add to our Daily Diary. I'm looking forward to that. So, but see you next time. Ka kite, ma noia. Wow!